hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to add a column edit history in upsheet so if you wanted to track a column changes so you can apply this uh, tutorial let's say if you wanted to uh to track the changes in this quantity column which is in my sample application you can add one column here in your database and name it whatever you like let's say history or quantity history since i wanted to track this uh, changes then once you done for that you can go to the app editor and then this quantity history keep it as enumlis then enumlis will be make sure allow others values and auto compute values so you can have base type let's say this base type is as you like so i keep it as, i keep it as a text if you are tracking the timing you can change the it to timings as well or to date and time and then separator here you can design whatever separator you may like let's say i'm gonna just change this into this that's the separator i would like then apply this expression in the app formula so apply the split lookup this row id this is the key column of this table lookup in the the same table so the name of the the name of this current table is data then the column that we need to look up is the key column which is the id and then what is the return column which is the quantity history plus if not in this quantity then again split look up this row id same goes here otherwise it will be list so in short the app sheet will generate a list uh, a list of changes in this specific column the quantity column i will paste this also in my youtube description this sample expression and you can copy it and this is the the column that i wanted to track the changes the quantity so what will happen if you apply that expression in in your quantity history column so this will be so let's say a user currently this is 104 and user change this value let's say user change it to 20 then you have the history whatever is the user input so it's 20 and then once again if user changes it again let's say he changed it again to 23 so the previous record you can track so there is a changes of it was 20 and it was changed to 23 and so on and so forth you can monitor as much as how many changes as you like so now you can do that so it's simple how to create the column history which is very useful if you want to track a changes in in one of the columns in your table so you can apply this expression in in let's say in a multiple columns in one table in order for you to track the history of the changes all right so if you learn something in this video please don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video